You know what? People think the color of my skin restricts me from going outdoors. That's absolute nonsense. I'm going to be the one that proves it to you all. One day I just woke up and I wanted to be somebody. I wanted to be an inspiration to my kids. I wanted to leave a legacy, basically. I'm Aki Rahman, uh, the mountaineer from Oldham, and I love climbing mountains. I've always been active in my life. Um, started off in school, playing football, athletics and stuff. Uh, secondary school, I became like an athletics champion. 100 meters, triple jump, I was great master champion of. So far, I've climbed three major mountains. Uh, Mount Elbrus in Russia, which is the highest mountain in Europe. Mount Kilimanjaro, highest mountain in Africa. And Mont Blanc, which is the highest mountain in the Alps. The most memorable one was El Bruce. You know, I did that in a day without acclimatizing, so that has to be one from the heart. Yahoo! Woo! Yeah! Yes! Yes! So I'm climbing Amada Blanc uh, for Penny Appeal, and we're raising money for emergency relief. Wherever there's an emergency, Penny Appeal will send someone out, help out the people. Allah's given me so much, and I just want to give back, and this is my way of giving back. He's given me a gift. I'm climbing mountains without acclimatizing, and I'm doing it fast. Amada Blam is an iconic mountain in the Everest National Park, and it just looks beautiful. It's got, it's got like two peaks, you know, like one middle center peak, and it's got two peaks on the side. It's uh, 6,856 meter mountain in Nepal. It's just as difficult as Everest. So I'm going to be climbing that. Uh, usual, usually it takes about 25 to 30 days for the full expedition. I'm planning to do it in 14 days. And of that, seven days is what I'm planning to hike. So these are the boots that I'm probably going to be using towards the top of Amanda Blanc. Um, Scarpa Phantom 6000 boots. Um, so if it does get cold or we're caught in a storm, we might need um, to protect ourselves. So these will pretty much go on top of you know, these rock bones that I've got and keep me warm and get me through the storm. It's a beautiful mountain and it looks nice and you know as soon as I saw it I knew I wanted to climb it. That's the biggest fish I got. I can't train altitude training in the UK, so for me, it's about fitness. I've been taking this stuff, you know, for about four weeks. I'm not lying. Maybe that's the stuff that's helped me, you know, become uh, injury free quickly. <laughs> Let me show you something. You come here. Let me show you. This is it. It's a bit of a mess at the moment because lockdown is over. So this treadmill, this cross trainer, I got some weights knocking around in the house. Um, that's what kept me going. Uh, when I was positive for COVID, I had to stay home, didn't I? And that's what it was. I know that Allah has given me this talent of climbing mountains without being affected by altitude that much. So for me, it's more about staying fit and staying on top of my fitness. So it all depends on how I'm feeling and what I did the day before. Um, usually I'll run at least five or six days a week. I'll have a day off, but most of the time it's six days. As, I, as I'm getting closer to an expedition, I'll probably rack up about 350 miles a month for two months. For me, the higher I get, the better it is, the more I can raise. Allah's given me this courage to carry on and you know go on because at the end of the day, I'm doing it for his path. Inshallah one day I will do Everest. Yeah, look here, over there. Imagine that's Ahmed Ablam and that's me standing on top. <laughs> 